To fit the belt drive kit, uh, we first take the speed sensor and screw it into the, to the, one of the mounting plates for the motor uh, with it just poking through. These fit down to the existing holes where the original cover used to go on. Uh, on the quill, there's also four magnets for the original speed sensor. We remove those by using a um, handheld blowtorch or a, um, cigarette, a uh, cigarette lighter and pull the magnets out. We then get our pulley. Just make sure it's seated at home. We'll do up our four grub screws. Put our motor plate for our other side on. We just leave them loosely fitted because we may need to adjust the width here very slightly if we're using the pneumatic system. If we're not using the pneumatic system, we can bolt them straight down. Uh, we get our belt. And our motor. Lined up in the grooves. And there are two securing bolts. Drop our bolts and tension the motor. We'll refit the motor power. And of course you've got all the power off from when you took the motor off. and we're ready to go. Just the pulley's slightly out of alignment. I'll just realign that. No tension their belt. And now the belt's all fitted up. 
Uh, we've got to make sure that that's it before we do up these scrub screws. This is actually pressed down hard against the stop, otherwise the pulley alignment will be out slightly. And there we have it, short drive operating, all ready to go. If we're fitting the pneumatic system, we would now fit the draw bar and the pellet. When we're adjusting, we put a TTS tool in there to make sure we get the right grip level. You make tool plate goes on. And the shoulder bolts that it rides into. into. You may need to smooth it around slightly until they slide freely. Lock them down. Make sure it's move up and down, not seized, and we're all ready to go.